Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the weirdest yet stupidest yet funniest story I have had in my time going to school. Now, basically it was a school trip. Uh, we, we go like every Wednesday and Friday. Now picture this in your head. So basically we're on the minibus going to the Peak District. See, if you don't know what the Peak District is, it's like this massive countryside uh, with like hills and it's basically a beautiful place to explore nature but so basically so uh we got lost in the peak district and um basically um so i was with my mate dylan and um we were just walking uh with the rest of the class and basically we couldn't stop laughing at the fact that ryan and Kristen were you know like there's like right here's the path so you've got the path here but then there's like a di little ditch full of mud, like a stream lake. Well, they're just running through there, Ryan and Kristen are, just getting wet and muddy. It's so funny. But we're absolutely losing our heads. Oh my God, the bit that happens next. Ryan takes off his hat just as we arrive at this fountain, just at the end of this alleyway bit, and dunks his head into this. A waterfall. When he gets out of the mini stream lake thing, the teacher says to him, Oh, Ryan, have you had a haircut? And then this, oh, <laughs> me and Dylan could not stop laughing at this. And then he says, Oh, no, I, and then Ryan says, Oh, no, no, I haven't had a haircut. I, I just, I just smashed my head in a waterfall. <laughs> we were off our head. We were on the floor, smashing the ground like this. <laughs> oh, it was an absolute knee snapper. Oh my god, who uses that phrase? Uh, <laughs> but we we couldn't stop laughing. It was way too funny. So right, so basically, as I said, we were lost at the start. So basically, um, there was two uh, decisions or two options. Um, there was a long route that would have taken us about half an hour to get back to the minibus, or a ravine and like knowing schools are all about health and safety yeah we gotta stay safe no they led us through a ravine now keep this in mind the ravine is like that like it's slanted like that and we have to walk through that and if we went the long way it would have taken half an hour now this ravine i don't know why but we went that way and guess what <laughs> It took us two hours. Two hours, that is. So, let me start. So, <laughs> oh, God, where do I start? So, basically, so, we're just walking through the ravine, uh, like, dodging, like, trees and stuff. So, basically, there's, like, a tree like this, and we have to walk over it. Um, so, basically, yeah. Um, there's water at the bottom with, like, sharp rocks. So, we're, like, like... Like craving not to fall, we're praying not to fall. We are praying to God not to fall. And so basically, we reach this one tree and like this one edge bit where you have to jump because there's like this water, like stream of water, kind of a bit like a waterfall that you have to jump over. The waterfall was about that big, but it was rushing water down. And I nailed it easily, and so did Dylan, but no, <laughs> William attempts to jump over this now keep this in mind he's got tms like tm shoes on he's got like he's got a lacoste t-shirt on and he's wearing <laughs> and he's wearing a lebron no not LeBron. he's wearing a jordan jordan's hat and <laughs> of all of us the one person who is all iced out. Tries to jump and his foot goes in the water. And now his TMs goes in the water and it the water pushes him. So he's walking like this, jumps, water pushes him, and he falls backwards. Boom, Lacoste t shirt. <laughs> all <laughs> absolutely covered in mud. And he oh god this is too funny he then starts sliding down the waterfall oh my god it is too funny it was the funniest thing i have seen in ages you know when 
it gets to that point where it's so funny that you literally are like trying to gasp for air, but you can't get air because <laughs> you're laughing too hard and your air, your throat basically won't, can't breathe because you're dying of laughter. <laughs> well, so basically when we get to like a safe part, but we're still in the ravine, um, um, the teacher, well, the assistant teacher, brings up worst case scenario, we turn back. And then I go, oh, worst case scenario. So you start thinking about that right now. <laughs> Not when we decided to walk through a ravine. Health and safety class. <laughs> Instead, you need to learn uh, brain and wealthy class because teachers don't have any so basically so um yeah when we get to the kind of safe part uh <laughs> there's this tree and this tree knocks every single one of us down <laughs> except the teachers <laughs> we've all got a muddy art basically and we're all walking like this with our legs open just like trying to not like Squidge all the mud. This one sounds like odd. Squidge all the mud together in between our legs. We're walking like this. <laughs> and so basically, oh my god. So after that happens, we all get up to like, it's like, right, at first it was like that. Um, um, then na at now, this time it's about like that. And we're walking there. Uh, so basically, uh, I start <laughs> coughing like hell. And <laughs> I have no idea why but i could not stop coughing and i thought i was going to die like i thought i was literally going to <laughs> die <laughs> so yeah then we got back to the minibus and <laughs> the teachers told us to um, take off our shoes and we went no <laughs> you made us do that you get a punishment. You are going to have a dirty minibus. We all sit down and the seats were completely fine, black. Boom. As soon as we sit down, brown. Mud all over them. So that's basically the story of when I walked through a ravine and nearly died of laughter and loss of air. So basically, guys, so if you guys enjoyed me, enjoyed me that doesn't sound weird if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button down below subscribe if you are new follow me on instagram at sam jtd see you guys later peace